This video provides an introduction and demonstration of the SMAC software verifier. What is SMAC? At its core, SMAC is a translator from LLVM Intermediate Representation into Boogie Intermediate Verification Language. It takes LLVM IR and models this program in Boogie IVL. During this translation, we can also play with different encodings of the LLVM IR to Boogie. We can change things such as using a different memory model, using different memory access granularity, different concurrency models, and these sorts of things. Around the core SMAC tool itself is built a modular and extensible software verification ecosystem. This allows novel backend verification algorithms to be prototyped, and with thousands of real-world benchmarks, it provides a robust environment for exercising these prototypes. Because SMAC targets LLVM IR, extending SMAC to support new source input languages can be achieved by plugging in an LLVM IR compiler front end for that language. SMAC's default configuration is a bounded verifier, providing assertion checking for C and C++ programs out of the box. SMAC is easy to try out. We provide an easy, portable, vagrant-based installation. It's really slick. It takes about five minutes. You can try it out on your own programs. It works great. Now we'll take a look at the organization of the SMAC tool. The front-end compiler generates LLVM IR, which is passed to SMAC and translated into Boogie. This Boogie IVL is then passed to the back-end verifier. The SMAC framework started out originally with support for the original Boogie IVL back-end, which confusingly is also called Boogie. Later, support for a back-end called Corral, which leverages the Boogie API, was added, followed by the duality backend. As more tools begin to embrace Boogie IVL, the backend support available in the SMAC framework will grow. Initial development focused on C. However, basic C++ programs also work well from SMAC. Support for these languages is facilitated by LLVM's C and C++ front-end Clang. We are currently working on adding support for additional languages that can be compiled to LLVM IR, such as Swift, Java, Rust, and others. So what sets SMAC apart? One of the biggest advantages is its modular extensible verification framework, allowing new front-ends and back-ends to be integrated quickly and easily. This modularity enables rapid prototyping of novel, innovative back-end verification algorithms. These prototypes can target Boogie IVL and leverage the Boogie API for parsing, verification condition generation, and its SMT interface. This effectively decouples the input source language details from the back-end verification algorithms. This ability to rapidly prototype tools benefits everyone. Researchers benefit because they can spend less time engineering and more time innovating. Industry benefits as the researchers' cutting-edge verification techniques become instantly available through the familiar SMAC interface. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. One of the recently added features to SMAC support for LLVM IR is its bit vector support, which allows for analysis of bitwise operation and unsafe typecasts. In this example, we initialize struct x with negative 10 and 20. The address of its J member is then cast as a care pointer, and a value of 1 is then stored at this memory location. By calling verifier assert, we can verify that the low byte of x.j is indeed changed from 20 to 1. Next, we call verifier nondet int, which assigns a non-deterministic integer to x.i. This causes SMAC to consider all possible integer values for this assignment. Next, absolute is called, with x.i as an argument. We'll treat absolute as a black box. Assume it uses bitwise operations to calculate and return the absolute value of the input argument. x.i is then reassigned with the return value from absolute. When this assertion is processed, we should find an error. Mathematically, absolute should return the true absolute value. However, when analyzed at the bit level, because of 2's complement, int min is actually its own absolute value, and the assertion fails as int min is a large negative number. Let's take a look. I've got our example saved as bitvectorexample.c. We'll move over to a fresh console window and invoke SMAC on bitvectorexample.c using the bit precise option to enable support for bit vectors.
as we see, we do see an assertion violation. Down near the bottom here, we see an assertion failed as we step into verifier assert from line 33. This corresponds with assert x dot i is greater than or equal to zero. If we look up the trace a bit, we can see the value of x dot i when it is passed in to absolute. A few instructions later, we see that the return value r is the same as the input value. This demonstrates that int min is indeed its own absolute value when integers are treated as bit vectors. If we modify the example slightly and constrain x dot i to being larger than int min before being passed into absolute, we can run smack again and see that the bug in the program is resolved. Our second example highlights duality, which is a backend that adds support for proving correctness of unbounded loops, among other things. Here we assign x to be a non-deterministic long, we initialize y and z to 0, and then assume x is greater than 100, which essentially constrains x to be larger than 100. A loop is then entered and z is incremented during each loop. Finally, we erroneously assert that z is not equal to x. Typically, with a bounded verifier, loops are unrolled into if statements up to a bound of some preset number n, and any bugs in loops requiring more than n iterations to reach will not be found. Duality performs invariant inference using constrained horn clauses to prove correctness of unbounded loops such as this. Traditional bounded verification will likely miss the bug in our example because it is unsound to assume anything about the value of z past the loop unroll bound. Let's see how Smack handles this. This example is saved as unbounded loop example.c. If we move over to a fresh console window and run Smack with its default backend corral using a typical unroll value of 10, we see that we reach the recursion bound and that no bug is found. However, if we invoke duality, there is no need to specify an unroll bound, and the bug is found. Next, if we fix our example and remove the erroneous assertion failure, we'll see that duality will in fact notify us that it has proved that the procedure is correct. This example demonstrates how novel verification algorithms can be added to SMAC by simply adding a new backend. Thanks for taking the time to learn about SMAC. As we have seen, SMAC is a modern software verifier and verification framework with potential to reduce verification algorithm implementation and delivery times. With the robust core SMAC tool being capable of handling hundreds of thousands of line of code, the SMAC ecosystem provides an excellent framework for developing and releasing new verification algorithm prototypes.